Hey, what's up YouTube? Intergalactic here. Today I'm going to be doing a video review and demonstration of the Launch X431 Pro. This is also a how-to video for beginners and an interactive course on media. So please stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got the VCI connected to the OBD2 port in my car. This is what directly communicates with the car's computer and it, it runs on ones and zeros, communicates through Bluetooth to a Lenovo Tab 48. It's it's a tablet, but it really comes in a nice case. It's extremely durable. Okay, so health report. This is just a basic scan, guys. This is scanning all the systems in the car for any faults, any fault codes. All right, guys, the uh, system has scanned, and these are the fault codes of this car. So it's usually pretty straightforward to interpret what the code is. Unlike some cheaper scanners, this will give you the entire code number and description of the code. So it's really just luxurious to have this software. Launch has great software. All right guys, so now that the car is finished scanning, so a lot of this is just really straightforward. Um, the actuation test is nice to have, especially when you're testing certain components in the car and you need to know if they are functioning correctly. So let's see what's in there. Okay guys, um, so there's a few steps to this test. And the engine is in a state of extinction, so I will perform the test. Um, this scanner is a professional level tool and it is capable of causing damage to your vehicle if you use it incorrectly. So you do want to read everything while you're doing it. It really gives pretty good instructions on what to do and how to operate the car with the scan tool. Okay, so got some injectors here. A um, lot of stuff. Leak detection pump. That is key to finding evaporative system problems. So let's go into that. So in the system is not running at the moment. All right, I'm gonna start this. I can just barely hear it, guys, but it's there. It's actually, I can hear it. So what I could do in this scenario would be connect a vacuum meter to the evaporative system and in that case, I would be able to detect if the vacuum pulled on the system, if, well, if the system's pulling any vacuum at all. 
So that's a quick and easy way to find EVAP system problems. And that's just scratching the surface of the software capabilities of launch. I have stopped the pump and I no longer hear it. Let's read the data stream. 387 separate streams of data that you can pull from this engine. Um, I just selected a few and let's go see the data. Okay. So if you can see that guys, um, definitely some live data here and a lot of these are um, like here's here is the engine RPM here. You can see that's varying pretty pretty quickly. It's getting its data pretty fast actually. Your oil temperature. And now let's go into graph. And here we go. So here we, we got some graphs here. Um, just lots of data that you can pull from the engine. It's really cool. And if you are a, a really good mechanic, or um, you might be, you might be able to combine all these. All right, guys, um, so aside from all of the amazing capabilities of this software, I just wanted to go through the user info and just the basic launch um, program. So there's a few things in here, your VCI, and um, you can activate through here. This is just in the very beginning screen, and it's down at user info once you open the app. Just a quick tip for automotive scan tool enthusiasts, keep your tools always updated with the latest software. I'm updating mine now.